Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, uh, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's open, T-H-O-T-S dot com. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. It'll be on the link below. Um, so what I want to talk to you about is education. And usually when we say education, we instantly associate that with academics and college and schooling and what you have to realize is that you're going to need some form of education. You didn't grow up and know everything. You know what I'm saying? Most individuals stop their cell by saying they're grown. When you put that in your subconscious, you're telling yourself that you're grown. That means you stop growing. I remember when I was always told, they would say, oh, I turned 18. My family would say, oh, you're grown. I said, uh-uh, I'm growing. I said, grown means that I moved out and paying my own bills and I haven't got there yet. I haven't got to the position that I want to be yet. So I'm not therefore grown yet. So, and I don't like to say that because you got, you got to continuously grow. But when it comes to education, you got to think about it is we have to le always learn something. You don't want to be left behind in this generation. Everything is fast paced. Everything is is quick. Everything is right now. There's an iPhone 6 and in the next 10 freaking months, it'll be an iPhone 7, iPhone 8. And you have to learn to adapt to these things and learn to use new technology as it's coming. You always want to learn. Uh, for instance, I made a video talking to parents to tell them to stop uh, limiting your education because your children are growing in a society where they continuously have to learn something new. I mean, I have little cousins right now who know how to take pictures, but when I was growing up, we didn't have no camera phones and stuff like that. We didn't have those situations. And it's kind of interesting because a lot of parents, they're always like, oh, look what my baby did down. He can turn on the DVR. He can set the DVR. He can take a picture with the camera. He can call people. He can play games on my phone. Well, think about it. Children are not born with limitations. They don't know that this is not normal. They don't know that you didn't go through this as a child. They only see what it is. They're watching you and then they then take that take upon themselves to do it because they're just repeating what you're doing so they don't limit their their education be, to the fact of what you did when you're a child so why should you limit yours to the fact that they're growing up so looking at it i really honestly believe people you need to start going to seminars uh, uh um watching youtube videos find some way to educate yourself don't limit yourself it's it's it makes no sense to limit yourself in a society that is limitless. Always grow. Find some things. Find something that you really enjoy. At this point in your life, you should realize find something that you've always wanted to do. Find something. I like doing motivational speaking. Right now, am I getting paid for it? No, but will I be getting paid for it? You damn right. <laughs> I will. But it's just the fact of Find what you like and keep educating yourself. We live in a society where individuals right now who are over the age of 30 still want to stick to the 80s and 70s and 90s ways of thinking. You can't do that. It's not that society anymore. This is, That society is damn near a race. You can't even really teach your kids about anything that happened in that time because they will not understand you. If you tell these children that we grew up with not having this, they're going to look at you crazy and think it's a myth. They're going to think you're playing because they grew up with these things. So, therefore, it's hard to it's hard to stick to that same mentality. You need to grow up as well. I know there's a lot of uh, um, older elders who did not see that they were going to need an email account. They didn't know they didn't they were going to need an email address. They didn't know what email was at that time and they really didn't care. But I know some that still don't have that and they still trying to work into that. But you kind of limit yourself. They, them, I can understand they have uh, an, some form of excuse. You know, you're 70 years old and you've been functioning through all of this stuff that's going through society. And you did not expect these changes. You didn't expect these changes. So it's kind of hard for them to get into the fold of things because they're almost, what, 20, 40 years, years out of touch with a lot of things because they came through so many different forms of stuff, racism and, and, and limit, limitations and find to get a good job and career. No. But what I'm saying about is with education, education is all around you. The universe is called universe. It's called a universe. It's the university of life. That's what it is. It's, it's a place where you learn. It's a place we learn. We learn every day. We, we make mistakes and we alter them. And we learn every day how to uh, uh, get something. But most individuals don't take that for granted. They don't see it as I'm learning something. They just see it as this is a normal day process. Oh, this happens. Oh, well. Instead of trying to learn something from it and apply it 
to where you don't have to suffer or endure the negativity that came from that situation that you did before. So it is great for individuals to start learning. I really encourage individuals to continue to keep learning. Keep learning. Don't give up on your learning, okay? It's, it, it is very, in this society, it is very important. It's very critical to know what, who you are. Because as I'm growing up, things are going to change. And I'm going to have to learn new things. And I'm going to have to stay in tune with my kids. Uh, one thing I learned is um, I work with this guy. Um, and it's, you know, it's very interesting. You know, he's a very great guy with his kids. I hear him talking to his kids and stuff. But he tries to stay in tune with his children through all of what's going on. And he's about, man, maybe 30 years older than his kids. But he's he's still instructing them and he's still trying to stay up to date with them so they don't lose, the, they don't have that separation. That separation where we can't even have a conversation because we don't even understand each other. I can't even talk to you so I have to find a role model on TV who looks like he understands me. And that's who they run to. That's why kids, as they get older, they start... Uh, um, you start having so many problems with them is because not because of the fact that they're bad and they want to be evil to you. It's because of the fact that you stop, you started limiting to limiting yourself to a certain standard. Now, morals is one thing, but you limit yourself to a certain standard where they they don't really live in a society where they have any standards. So you need to grow with your kids. That's the problem. Parents are so stuck on this well I remember back in the back in the day it's starting to wear out back in the day it doesn't help anymore we live in a completely different society and and it's moving rapidly by, by the speaker by the sound of my voice right now somebody has already created the next best thing that everybody's going to need and hop on and feel is very important in society and if we don't adapt to it we might be lost we might not be able to use it it might be the most important thing in the next 20 years but if we don't learn how to deal with it now, we'll probably be stuck. And then they'll have a new up-to-date version of that. But we, you're just trying to deal with the last one that was made 20 years ago. You're just trying to figure that out. It's just equivalent to email email addresses. Now people got Facebooks. And I'm and I'm not and let me go back to what I said about old people. I can understand. I'm not saying that they can't do it. I'm just saying it's understandable that they didn't grow up and need that. They've already done all the things that they needed to do. But us as I say, maybe 50 down, got to keep going. 60 down, got to keep doing it. I know I'm a young man, but at the same time, I got wisdom enough to know what we have to do as people and growing in this society. That's the only way we're going to evolve, and that's the only way we're going to do stuff great as people. So, I mean, I thank you for listening. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com, my Facebook and my Twitter. As you can see, I'm in front of the mic right now. So, um, you know, let's... Let's grow, people. Let's grow. Stay out of that stuck-on mind state, man. You got to change yourself. So I thank you, and you'll have a good one.